When we do, I mean, assuming we do have colonies on Mars, I mean, how should they be administered? Should they be administered as kind of extensions of the current nation states on Earth, or should they be kind of administered as collectively um, in the same way that the International Space Station is, or should they be independent? I mean, I mean, how, how would that work? And how, how do we stop ourselves exporting the conflicts which are played uh, to, to space? Well, um, I think that while initially uh, space colonies um, might be administered from Earth. Ultimately, uh, they will administer themselves. Now, uh, I, I don't think there's any way around that. Uh, it will happen sooner or later. Uh, now, what should be the form of government? That will be decided by them. Uh, and they may have a multitude of answers. Um, you know, uh, right now there's sort of two different utopian ideas uh, that are current on Earth. I mean, putting aside certain pathological ones, but in terms of within the Western world, uh, there's the social democratic idea and there's the libertarian idea. Um, okay. Now they each have their advocates. Um, I think they'll both be put to the test, uh, <laughs> and uh, and and many others as well, no doubt. I mean, I don't think that the uh, the possibilities of human social thought is exhausted by the present age. And I, I think there's always going to be people who've got new ideas and, and frequently will be very unpopular because they have divergent ideas uh, from those that are generally accepted. And they're going to want to have a place they can go and, um, you know, try to cut their own path. And the ideas that work will succeed and they will be copied. The ideas that do not work will fail and they will not be copied. So if you have a, a Mars colony that um, offers people greater possibilities to realize their full human potential than anything they can find anywhere else, people will vote with their feet to go there. And so it will grow and, and then it will become an example to, to the rest of humanity. And, and those that fail will obviously disappear uh, or those that, you know, survive, but nevertheless in, in an unattractive state will, will be negative examples. And um, so, and I think this is going to be a tremendous influence on human progress. I mean, you know, in Tudor England, there was this group of people around Richard Hackley. Walter Raleigh, Queen Elizabeth I, uh, who formed this group called the New World Society. Mm -hmm. And their idea was that in the New World, we could, well, it could be a new world, okay, in which we could bring all the best and leave the worst behind. Mm -hmm. And while they couldn't leave all the worst behind, uh, to a remarkable extent, that program ultimately was realized. Uh, that is, okay, uh, we've had religious prejudice in America, but we've never had religious persecution or religious wars. Uh, we had, uh, we certainly have class distinctions, but not blood nobility, um, and, and so forth. And uh, and the founders of the uh, United States took the ideas of 18th century liberalism, which were well known among educated people in Europe, but which could not be implemented there because of power structures that were in place already. And they were able to give them a fuller try, what you know Thomas Jefferson called a noble experiment. And, yeah. and for all its flaws, it worked well enough that millions of people voted with their feet to come here. And and you had this continental nation based on liberty created that uh, not only demonstrated liberty, it demonstrated telegraphs and steamboats and centrally generated electric power and light bulbs and recorded sound and motion pictures and aeroplanes and nuclear power and computers and, and all this. And, um, and, and then to various extents, was emulated first in the West and then even in non-Western countries like Japan. Uh, and the, 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 and I think that, you know, the Martian frontier is going to be a new place where new ideas can be put to the test. 
and, and where there's going to be tremendous uh, emphasis on ingenuity to deal with new problems and uh, ingenuity in both technical areas and I think social areas. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of progress is being held up right now um, in the West due to red tape, due, due to uh, excessive uh, requirements for, to certify people before they could practice in various professions, um, the, the, you know, which is limiting opportunity. Uh, the, the, in open frontier, one thing you always have in open frontier is a labor shortage and a labor shortage therefore uh, is, a, is a bulldozer against obstacles to individuals to exercise their talent because, you know, it, you know, in the early 19th century America, school teachers were men, they were typically clerics. Yeah. Um, but on the frontier, uh, if a girl could read and, and do arithmetic, well, can she teach the school? Well, sure she can. Well, okay, we have no men who can do it. And then during our civil war, that custom propagated eastward as the labor shortage. You know, it's kind of a what we call a Rosie the Riveter phenomenon. Yeah. Uh, and and so today, a, a woman who was a school teacher is not considered to be some kind of feminist icebreaker. It's considered yeah. to be a very normal sort of profession for a woman to have. But that those opportunities were open to them by this labor shortage. Well, there's going to be nothing in shorter supply on the Martian frontier than human labor. And this is going to be a driver both for creation of labor-saving machinery, as it was on the American frontier, um, Yankee ingenuity and all that. But in this current age, robotics is the new form of labor-saving machinery, and even artificial intelligence, which um, allows a single individual to exercise a, a wider diversity of skills uh, than they can. Because you're going to have a labor shortage both in quantity and in diversity okay, to try to make up the division of labor that is needed to have a, 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 a full civilization. 